Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be talking about how to enable virtualization technology VTX on your laptop, desktop or any kind of Windows 10 or any kind of Windows machine uh, that you have or that you own. Okay, so the first th thing we're going to do is use a Dell laptop, second we're going to use an HP laptop and third we're going to use a Lenovo laptop. Now it, the process is a little different on all three so stay till end till end of the video so you guys can find all the possible solutions on how to do this. Also check out other videos on this channel guys how to install a vast antivirus, how to download and install VirtualBox and how to install Windows 10 or VirtualBox or a VMware player. So let's get started. So uh, go ahead and click on your shut menu and type in settings. So once you type in settings, then what you need to do is go ahead and click on update and security. And we're going to do this on a Dell laptop, okay? And so once you once you're here, go ahead and click on the option for recovery. And once you go click on option for recovery, and uh, then go ahead and click on this advanced startup and click restart. So as, at this point, your machine is going to restart. So you may want to grab a cell phone or something to watch this video. So I'm going to restart my machine and show you what that looks like, okay? Okay, guys. So once your machine restarts, your screen may look like this. Now, be, uh, you know, give me some time. I'm trying to do this, trying to hold the surface on one hand and trying to control this Dell laptop. So as you see, it's a Dell machine at the bottom of the screen. So at this point, what we're going to do is going to click on troubleshoot. And once we click on troubleshoot, go ahead and click on the advanced options. So once you click on advanced option, if you do see a UFUI setting, great. If you don't, don't get upset. Uh, just wait, just watch this video till the end. So we're, if you see this, go ahead and click on that and go ahead and click on restart now. So once this machine kind of restarts, I'm going to show you what that looks like. Okay, now my machine has restarted and your screen may look a little different, but all we need to do is find that option called Enter Setup. So using my keyboard, I'm going to go down and find the Enter Setup option and hit, go, go ahead and click Enter. And your BIOS, as I said, again, may look a little different, but once you come to this screen, then what you need to find is security under secure, not security actually, or maybe under advanced or um, maybe under boot. So give me, give me one quick second here. So right there, yeah, advanced, and as you see, that second option called virtualization. So we need to go down and make sure that option is enabled as is it, as it is. Also, to change the values, you may have to hit enter and scroll up and down, or there may be a different key. If you look at it on your bottom of your screen, right there, it says to change value, press F6 or F5. That depends basically on what kind of computer you have. So go ahead and do that and make sure you hit enable. Now, when you hit escape, it's going to ask you, do you want to ch save changes? So in that case, we're going to go ahead and say, yes, I want to save this changes. Okay, so now moving to the second method. Okay, guys, so this is the second option using the HP laptop. So either you can restart your machine or shut it down. And when you turn on this machine, go ahead and press F10 key on your keyboard con constantly. Now, my machine does have a battery issue, so it may show that warning. But as you see, I'm continually pressing F10 and I'm going to ignore this warning by hitting enter and as soon as I do that if you keep hitting F10 it's going to bring you to the menu like this now your menu may look like something like from Dell or may look like this but if you see a menu like this then go ahead and scroll over to uh, uh, system configuration and if you have an older machine it may uh, older BIOS it may also look like this and then go to device configuration once you go to device configuration, scroll all the way down until you see this virtualization technology. Once you see that virtualization technology, make sure that box is checked. Go ahead and click uh, save and go ahead and hit yes. Okay. So once you hit this yes, then your virtualization technology is enabled. Uh, go ahead and hit exit on the box and go to save changes and say yes. So that's how you do it on an HP laptop. Now we're going to move to a Lenovo machine. Okay guys, so now we're back with the Lenovo machine. I'm gonna turn the machine on. And on Lenovo, I think you have to hit enter to get into the BIOS as you say ThinkPad and now press enter. So as soon as you press enter, it says, okay, you have 13 seconds to pick an option. So what we're gonna do is press one here. And as soon as we press one, we may have to wait a second and you may see uh, an option like this. Now your HP BIOS may look like this or Dell BIOS may look like this or your Lenovo BIOS may look like this, but these are all the same options. So again, what we need to do is go ahead and go to 
uh, config. So in the HP, maybe system under uh, Lenovo, it's a CPU. I know that. So if you click on CPU, and as you see, Intel or hyper threading technology or HTX or uh, hyper hyper technology. So make sure you hit enter. If you hit enter, it gives you an option to enable and disable. If it's disabled, go ahead and click enable. And in this case, what we're going to do is go ahead and click on F10, which is save and exit. Now, at this point, if you don't see your options till, till the end of the video, I'll be showing you guys what to do. So just stay tuned. Hit go ahead and hit save, and I'll show you what to do. Okay, guys, so we just literally went through a Dell, HP, and Lenovo uh, laptop on how to enable virtual. Uh, virtualization technology so or VTX but if you still haven't been able to find your setting then what we may need to do is go ahead and go ahead and click on your uh, start and type in system and system information and once you type in system information what we need to do is find out this processor or the CPU information so in my case is Intel i766-U so I'm simply gonna go to Google and uh, look for that processor so uh, just type in Intel i766 6600-U and the first option is going to pop up is the Intel link. I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, click on that link and on that link what we're going to look for is the Intel virtualization technology. So go ahead and uh, click on control F and type in uh, virtualization and as soon, as soon as you type in virtualization as you, as you see on the processor it says the Intel virtualization technology is supported yes so if if your processor supports this technology you will see this option in the BIOS now if you if your laptop says virtualization technology is not available then of course you your processor doesn't support and that's why you are not seeing the option Again, now if you uh, look at these BIOS option uh, for Dell, it's F2 or FN plus F2, or you can just simply Google what uh, as the model changes the they are they do sometimes change uh, the BIOS key. HP is F10, Lenovo is you press enter and then hit F1, uh, and some laptop it's just enter. So if you to find your specific BIOS key, you need to go ahead and uh, Google that um, model number and look for the iOS key and once you hit go to that settings just follow those videos and that's how you're going to be able to enable virtualization technology or VTX on your laptop desktop or any kind of machine again if this video have helped you guys make sure uh, you guys hit like and subscribe because this does take me quite a time to you know gather all these laptop and get this video available to you so make sure you hit that thumbs up button like and subscribe and do leave the comments in the comment section below if you find any BIOS keys that work for you it may not work for others but do leave them in the comment section below so people uh, just like you can uh, basically get help from the comment section and I will be pinning the most useful comments so do leave them in the comment section below again guys please don't 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 forget to like and subscribe um, and we'll see you on the other time thank you bye bye